Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to properly frag in a trio. And I'm going to show you what you have to do to be the best fragger possible. But before we get into this video, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new. Now let's get into it. What is a fragger? In a trio, there's usually only one fragger. The fragger is typically the one who has the best mechanics and is the best at fighting in the trio. The fragger should be the most aggressive and the most reliable player in a fight and the fragger is meant to get the most kills and collect refresh for the tarper. Now that you guys know what a fragger is, let's break it down into three sections. Early game, mid game, and end game. Let's start off with early game. I consider early game when you have recently landed and your trio is still looting. During this time, the fragger should be on high alert for any help that is needed. For example, if it is early game and everyone is looting and one of your teammates calls for help because there is a player on them, you should drop everything you're doing in that moment and help them. So should everybody else in your trio, but because you're the fragger, you especially should be doing this. Now let's move on to mid game situations. In mid game fights, you want to be the aggressor. And at this point, your job is to try to clean up the fight as quickly as possible before you have to deal with third party. Try to utilize peace control and teamwork to fight effectively as possible. A lot of people think that fragging is a solo job. Well, the role is, but fragging works best when you can use your teammates and work together to fight teams. Some of the most useful things you need for fragging is good teamwork, like good comms and being able to stick together. If you and your team can master this, you will be in sync for fights and you'll be able to W key way more effectively. Now we're going to move on to the most complicated part of the video. Well, at least in my opinion, endgame fragging. The reason it's so complicated is because there are multiple different types of situations. High ground, low ground, and the mid layer situations. Time when you need to leave the tarp and times when you need to stay in the tarp. Let's first start off by talking about low ground situations. Stacked loadout low ground situations. A stacked loadout low ground situation is when you and your trio have a lot of mats and a lot of heals, making you as a fragger not have to go and get refresh. Well at least not as much. In these situations, you want to stay in the back of the tarp and be like your IGL's other set of eyes. You need to be making constant callouts on where teams are, if you have a chance at taking height, and even small things like marking zones to make it easier to navigate, and looking to drop someone into your box for a refresh. But I know, the thing that you guys have been waiting for is how to fight in these situations. Well in a stacked low ground loadout situation, you're not really going to be fighting. You're going to mostly be staying in the tarp, trying to get tags for storm surge, or even just trying to run down your opponent's heals. Even if you hit someone for 190 damage, don't leave the tarp to get the kill unless you are like a tile away from them. Greed is one of the biggest things you have to overcome as a fragger, or even just as a Fortnite player in general. You can't always just be going for the kill just to get the kill. You have to be thinking about how it's going to affect you later in the game. Endgame low ground impact fragging situations. Impact fragging is when your team is shambles on loot and mats so you need to get a refresh. In this situation, you're still going to be moving along as a trio, but you're going to be looking for a good fight to take. You're especially going to want to kill solos because they're an easy target. In this situation, if you laser someone for 190 and they're far away from your tarp, you're still going to want to push them for the kill because you need to bring refresh back to your trio. Your entire goal is to resupply your team so that you are able to get further into the game. Now we're going to move on to mid layer end game situations. In mid layer situations, you still want to be at the back of the tarp, but some things have changed. Here are some rules that I created, but they're all in my opinion. Rule number one, don't open up any edits above you. This is because if you are mid-ground and you open up the edit above you, you're most likely going to get focused by the team playing height. They are trying to get as many kills and tags as possible, but most importantly, if they are smart, they will pressure the mid-ground team so that you don't have a chance to take height from them. So only open up one of these edits if it's because you have the perfect chance to take height or you can easily break them down. Rule number two. Try not to go for refresh out to your sides unless you know it's a solo and they're an easy one shot kill. This is because most teams are on mid ground and if you go for a quick refresh outside, you're most likely going to get hard pressured by a team from your side. Pretty much the key to fragging on mid ground is basically to just go for the kids who are under you. Alright guys, we're finally going to move on to the last endgame category. High ground endgame fragging. 
But before we get into it, if this video has helped you guys so far, then don't forget to subscribe and leave a like on this video. Anyway, let's get back into it. When you're fragging on high ground, your job is to apply constant pressure to the teams below you. You're going to want to try and pick off anyone who is running in the open, and you're going to want to apply pressure to any mid-ground team, especially if they look like they're going to try to contest you for height. Your job for getting refresh on height is to get quick AR picks and to get all the mats and refresh from the kill and bring it back up to your tarper. Only go down from height to collect refresh if your IGL tells you it's a good time. Other than that, if you're on height as a fragger, all you need to do is apply pressure to anyone you see and try to get the extra points. Alright guys, that pretty much does it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.